Okay, so uh, this is the box that the queen came in that I picked up last night. And uh, there are attendant bees inside this box. And then the queen is supposed to be by herself in a cage. So let's get this open here. Okay, I think we can open this up now. And there's some of the attendant bees. All right, so we're going to take this in and get the queen out and get her marked. And we'll be back. Okay, so we have the queen cage out here, and uh, it certainly looks like she has not been marked, so we are going to mark her. And we're going to use this for the first time. It's just kind of a neat little thing. It's a, supposed to be a one-handed uh, way to get your queen, and uh, this little door here slides up, kind of like a roll-top desk. And you have a little plunger here on the bottom that you can get the queen up toward the top and get her oriented and in between some of these slots and then you can come in and, while she's kind of held in place there and just you know gently put a little drop of your marking paint on your uh, queen's thorax so we're going to attempt to, to do that here all right first thing is we're going to kind of close this off a little bit there is like a little door here on the cage So we're going to take that off and put our finger over it, kind of keep the queen from running out in case she has a mind to. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get her to run in here. And there she goes. Okay, so now we've got her in here. I'm sure she'd like to get out. And now we can definitely see that she is not marked. So we're going to get this up here to uh, get her marked. So we're just going to very gently push this plunger up, getting her to kind of get oriented here. All right, that's not bad right there. So, get some paint out here. Okay, that's a sufficient marking on her. We're going to release this now, and we'll leave her in here for just a few minutes just to uh, let her, let that paint dry. It's supposed to dry pretty quickly, and it seemed to work pretty decently. This is the first time, again, I've used this little uh, queen marking cage. Now, while we're waiting for the paint to dry here, I should point out that uh, the spacing of these little uh, bars here on the top of the, the door, they're spaced just enough where worker bees, so if you had attendant bees or something in here with the queen, they would be able to slowly, you know, make their way out. But the queen is just a little bit too big. She can't get in there. So this is probably the same spacing as the queen excluder. You can see her kind of... She's trying to get through there, but uh, uh, she can't quite do it. Um, and this is a mated queen. It's an Italian queen. All right, we're going to try to hold this cage up while we slowly open this door to see if she'll try to get up in there herself without escaping. Okay, she went right up on in there and back into the cage. That was sure easy. We just had a little space open here, but she was able to go right back in the cage. So now she's marked and uh, she's back in the cage. So she's ready to take out to the hive. And I want to say that uh, this thing worked really good. And uh, luckily, when I put the 
the queen cage right up here. Just open this enough where she could get up in there, and I could have held my finger over the other part. But she ran right up into the cage uh, very, very nicely. So now she's ready to uh, take back out to the hive and put her in the uh, to get her introduced into her new home, and hopefully the bees will accept her. So this thing worked really good. Uh, it's made to take into the hive and um, put over the queen, and uh, you have this door fully open. You put this over your queen in, in your hive on a frame or something, and once she's inside the uh, this part down here, you can simply close the door, like you see here. Kind of works like a roll top desk and then she'll be in the part and then you can use the plunger here to uh, get her up and when she's in a position parallel usually with these bars then you can come in and mark her as you saw so this is the first time i've used this but i gotta say it worked really good it was easy to get the queen back in the cage didn't have to physically handle her which is what I was anticipating, but this worked really great. So, okay, she's in the cage here, and we're going to get her into the hive. 